the common ones required for this experiment are ESP32 board, BMB280 sensor, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now go to the bling.cloud website, enter the login details and click on the login button. Now go to templates page and click on new template. Here enter any template name and select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi and click on the done button. Now go to data streams and click on new data stream and select the virtual pin. Now create one virtual pin for temperature and select the pin number as VO and data type as double and select maximum value as 100 and click on the create button. Now create the another one variable for pressure and the pin as V1, enter the maximum value and data type as double and click on create. Similarly, create the third one for altitude and click on create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag the gauge widget one for temperature and second one for pressure and third one for altitude and now go to settings and select the variable names first one for temperature and here select the variable data stream and click save repeat the same for the next two And now click on the save button. Now go to the search button and select new device. And here click from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Select the template and click create button. Now we got the template ID, device name and authentication token. Copy this to our program. And upload the program to the ESP32 board. For that go to tools and select board ESP32 and ESP32 dev module and then select the port. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now open this Blink application. Now we can see the template which we created in the web dashboard. Now click on this template and go to settings and add the gauge widget. We need to add three gauge widgets, one for temperature, pressure and altitude. Now click on this gauge and select the data stream for temperature. Likewise, we need to select the data streams for the other two. Now go back and again go back. Now we can check the output. 